guys, Chad Grendels here with your Bridgeford Food Tip of the Month. Uh, this month's tip is for co-anglers specifically. You know, getting in somebody else's boat is, is kind of kind of a, a, a challenge for rod storage and rod organization. And I've came up with a little system that, that, that uh, will probably help you out. So, usually when you get into somebody's boat, you put your rods in here, just like this. Sorry, I got a little bit low ceilings and I got this line hanging here for my kids uh, pitching uh, or batting cage net. So just, just deal with me. So usually you put them in here and then you have this one here and that one there and you're ready to go. You strap them down and you're ready to go. Well, when you get the first spot, the one you need is on that bottom left uh, that you put in first. So you have to pull this one up and around and in and over and... Okay, I finally got to it. Well, I've come up with a very easy solution for that, for that problem. So what you do, instead of putting them in these holders here, put them up on these lips. Now, what, why, do I, why would I do that? Think about it, when you're on the front of the boat, your, your rods are all laid out nice and neat. Well, this is gonna kind of help you. You're not gonna quite have the same type of room, but you're gonna have a lot of the same room. So take your, your rods up here like this, boom, 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 and finally your last one, that's five rods. Now, no matter which one you wanna get to, it's pretty simple. You want this one in the middle, you pull this out, and there you go, you got that one. You want the one back there, you just pull it out like that. Okay, it's very simple, very easy. Most every boat that has a single console has some type of lip, whether it be for your feet or it be for your rods up here. Every one of them have some type of lip there that you can lay your rods out and get them separated out. So that way you can grab your rod wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, you can grab that rod and you can go fishing immediately instead of having to dig for your rods for two, three, four minutes uh, while you're trying to do it. So. I hope this tip helps you out. Uh, stay tuned for more. Hope to see you on the water.